Yeah, welcome to the Vikers, the heart of the Vikers. And uh, we are a small group of three persons. It's Esther, uh, Robert, and me. Esther and Robert are sitting there. And we are all cycling to work every day. Uh, Esther in Darmstadt, uh, Robert is here in the East End, and, and me um, also in Frankfurt. So our motivation was to improve the situation for the bikers in Frankfurt. Biking for such a narrow city is very important, not only for the bikers, also for the city climate. As you see, if everybody would go to work uh, with, with cars, it would crowd all the, all the cars. Here, this is with, with public transport, it's much better, but with, uh, with cycling, it's, it would be very easy and you have no pollution and all these things. But cycling also is fun for the, for the cyclists itself. And um, so our motivation was to do something for to improve the situation for the bikers in Frankfurt. Um, as you probably know, um, biking in Frankfurt is sometimes hard <laughs> because the bike lanes are not properly planned. And planning bike lanes is not very, e not very easy. <laughs> um, sometimes uh, there are some mistakes when you, when you <laughs> plan bike lanes. <laughs> um, these things. Um, or here. <laughs> so to have good planning, good plans means you need to have uh, good data, and uh, to have good data about um, bike lanes means that you have to ask the bikers where they are driving and what they need. And there is in Frankfurt the Mengelmeter Frankfurt, which uh, you can put in as a biker if they are Straßenschäden or something wrong with the bike lane. But there is no app um, to, to put this data here in. So if you are on the bike and you see, ah, there's something something wrong with the bike lane, then you, you memorize it and then you go home and then you are at the, at the desktop and then you can put it in. But I think it's only a few people <laughs> who do this. And so there's one project in uh, Philadelphia, which is Cycle Philly. And this is a very cool app, um, which you can load on your smartphone. And then whenever you go on your bike, you can record your tracks. And whenever you find some obstacles on your way, you just make a photo of it and say what kind of obstacle it is. And you uh, push send, and that's it. So it's a very cool way to collect uh, data. And it is the whole recording of, of the bike trips. So what we want to do with the Open Data Day in Frankfurt today, we, um, we want to make uh, Cycle Frankfurt from Cycle Philly. Uh, we want, would like to make Cycle Frankfurt because the Cycle Philly is all open data. Um, so it's free for everyone to, uh, to adapt. Um, so what we did is we forked the code from GitHub, which was as I said, all, all of the data, we installed the back end, we localized uh, the Android app with some Frankfurt theme, and <laughs> we set up the database and connected the app uh, with the desk. And then we, um, we tested it here, so we went outside, was, and uh, this is, this is a, uh, the Android, yeah? so it's just a start trip. As you see, we, we have been uh, Ready exactly in time here. <laughs> so this was four. four, four. Um, but we went outside and recorded here. This is the centrale, and we go around the block, and this thing is recording, and we get all the um, the data in our database. Um, so it's it's working probably, probably, probably. Um, but there are also some things still to do. Um, at the moment, we only have the Android app, so it would be necessary to make also an iOS app. Uh, so if there's an iOS developer, it's free to join to make this happen and to bring this app uh, to the app stores or in the marketplace. And I just wanted to add that the iOS app's already done, you just have to fork it. So it's yeah, not yes. redevelopment, it's not completely development, yeah. it's just adjustment. Yeah. It's all documented and it's all, all there. Um, and we also, when we 
uh, looked in the code and uh, and played with this with the Cycle Philly app. Um, we also had some ideas for the improvement uh, for this app. Uh, would you like to um, code in this app and also make as an open source project available for the community? This is an an automatic switching on and switching off. It would be good if you say I'm a biker and I would like I'm okay with recording my tracks. So it would be good that you don't have to make um, the app on and off and say save this trip and save this trip. So there's there um, the technique is is easy with, with Google Fit for example. Google Fit is uh, something where the device uh, examinates on its own that you are now cycling because of speed and, and how the, the smartphone is moving. So it would be easy, it would be a good thing to put this into the app so when I go on the bike, the app automatically detects, oh, now the person is biking and now the, the uh, person has finished biking. So you get a lot of more data um, by running this automatically. Um, Another thing would be nice to have an emergency button. So if you, if the in former time, in the next time you have the Darmstadt Frankfurt biking highway. So if you are in the middle of the forest in the next uh, the next years, then it would be good to have something like the Pantenhilfe or an emergency button that you are in the forest and your <laughs> tire run flat. So this would be like to uh, develop in this app. And uh, another thing would be very um, useful an API uh, to the database of the Mengenmelder, which the Mengenmelder is a very cool thing because uh, whenever you record an issue there, then it goes directly to the person who is responsible for that. And um, it would be great to, um, to combine these two things so that all the data which is collected with this app is going to the into the mail mail and to the responsible oh. person, for example, the data bureau. Um, and another thing would be if you have the API in the one direction, so the issues we are reporting with this Cycle Frankfurt uh, thing would go into the mail mail, but also the other way around would be interesting. That if there is an issue already um, reported in the mail mail, then to get it onto your a smartphone, so they get a warning. Oh, be careful if you want to choose this route. Uh, there's a block or um, uh, something you can't can't go there. But you get a warning uh, from all the issues which are already reported in the mail mailer. So this is what we like to, uh, to do. Um, yeah.